Welcome back everyone to CK2 Game of Thrones as Ray's Blackfire. And yeah, once again we have the chance to imprison some of our King's Guard. Bertrand Red Tusk. Ah, uh, he's an advocate King's He will do his duty. I'm very, very certain of this. Um please do not. Please, Red Tusk. It, it would actually break my heart <laughs> if Red Tusk was to go against us. I mean he's our strongest King's Guard. I think. Maybe Rob... Well, he's just as good as uh, Luke Commander Rob Rain. Um, just don't. Just don't. Okay. It's clear that all other people are friendly and want my best. I've gained a trusting trait. Not necessarily... I, I don't necessarily we could say that. But I, I, I guess our Kingsguard is giving us some... Uh, a false sense of security, maybe. Because uh, they are amazing fighters, but... Anyway. We'll get our troops together. Um, I will have... My, I will have Lord of Rosby lead descent. I will have a loyal servant lead, and then I will probably have my husband lead another flank. Although, actually, you know what? No, I'll pick the Lord of Cracklap Point and we'll move against, uh, yeah, the Darklands of Duskendale. Now, mm, Ooh, Volantis is under attack from the Do Dothraki Sea is in need of aid. We implore you to join our coalition against our common enemy. So that the interests of the Associate Valyrian here and our fellow High Valyrian will remain protected. It's interesting that this is a possibility. Huh. So he's attacking Mir. Oh, the Dothraki are actually going after a free city. And Volantis at that. Um, but I'm not going to help. Because we've got our own problems to deal with. But that's so cool that there is a possibility for this. Either way, we're going to have to uh, crush yeah, the forces of Duskendale first and foremost. Come on. Don't let them escape. It's kind of frustrating. Is it because of the King's Road? Probably. Alright, there we are. Nice. Lord of Rosby is going to absolutely smash them. Now there's 10,000 men coming. So we kind of have to... Yeah, hurry up to get our troops together. We'll go to Bramsford and then Hayford. Okay, now, Septon Vala bursts into us. Sir Tyland Yellowbrook. Um, burning him. What is he? Burn the apostate. Sure, just burn him, whatever. But, we now need to make sure that we get to Hayford as soon as possible. The ongoing civil has caused... Both loyal veterans and various adventurers to make their way to King's Landing. Oh, that's a big army. Well, somewhat useful, anyways. Uh, why is Mago leading this though? Oh. Okay, so my husband is leading the loyal men. I think that's okay. I think that's that's good. Have my husband lead this army. I hope he doesn't die. Um, and who's leading this? I suppose I should. I should be leading this one. Okay, so we are probably going to have to go here. We're going to get attacked. Not if we go here. Alright. Mace is our most useful. Extra morale. Oh, there's a big battle going on. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to save it. So, I think instead we should just get our troops together and hate it. Because, yeah, we're not able to save these men. Yeah, this is the problem. The Reach has so many forces. So, uh, Carlton Rosby, we've got our best forces. Uh, I guess we'll go to Shittering Brook, because we've got the... Well, we've got the river defense. How's Rigger is joining us? And Guy. Wasn't he the one who killed various people in this in the last war? He could be of use. So there's 20,000 men. Now, if in the meantime, we take Bramsford, that could be cool. I've been told that they are pursuing studies in fields that deny the truth of the maiden. I'm certain that such rumors are only slander and that you would never do such a thing. If it were true, however, it would be most disappointing. Now, that's interesting. The best answer to this is silence. I must not challenge conventional wisdom. Um, gets the religious authorities approve. Studying stars will be removed. Yeah, I think you should stay out of my business. Pretty certain about this. Now, there's only 6,000 men. It seems like I thought someone would have abandoned you, but that's not the case, unfortunately. Okay, well, we'll destroy these 6,000 men. We've just lost 
Why are you leading troops in North Cracklaw? Hmm. Right, Brian. Actually, you know what? I kind of want my husband to lead this, so there you go. Come on, Mago. Okay, Old Stunts gets Mild Winter. We absolutely cut through these men. That's nice. We'll just pick off these smaller armies one by one and uh, try and win this war this way. Word of an epidemic, of course. Winter is coming. An epidemic is coming. We have huge rebellion going on. And the Dothraki are currently invading Volantis. What more? I'm actually just waiting for the White Walkers. Actually, by the way, the Whitelings are attacking the Watch. So that's... Well, they're no longer attacking, never mind. But that's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of as bad as it could be. Uh, we have received news of an epidemic in Saffron Isle. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? That's not that bad. That's the Red Death. Wait. No, it's... Where is Saffron Isle? It's the Great Sickness. Oh. Maybe I should have read that. You guys can obviously uh, pause or, you know, rewind to read it. I probably should have read it now that I think about it. I thought this was just the Red Death. But that's the Great Sickness. Okay. Well, we shall see <laughs> how we're going to deal with it. Um, f these 14,000 men is basically all I have. I would like to destroy these 3,000 if we don't take too much attrition. Um, and a lot of Sea Guard has decided... To join against us. It's not good. What is the Northerners? What are the Northerners doing? Oh, right. The Vale is here trying to stop him. They're fortifying at Mount Kaelin. That's pretty smart. Um, but, yeah, at least the Vale's somewhat protecting us to the north. Okay, and we cannot actually catch these small armies. We're actually taking attrition in Blackheart. Rolling Fort has fallen. Okay. Yeah, you're besieging things. It's good to know. Wait, are you... Oh, you want old stones. Oh, that's actually really bad. I hope that I'm not going to be able to do anything. Because I don't want them to destroy my colony there. Okay, someone was imprisoned. That's nice. Um, but we need to go back to King's Landing. The Botherwells seem to be joining us. Nice. So we have some support. For sure. And Wex... Lord pa Wex died in an accident. So his son, who is a Valyrian, doesn't really like us. Mm. Robert Rain's treason is one thing. Okay, yeah, well, come on. Rob Rain, you've served Damon. Do not, do not do this now, please. He will do his duty. Oh my god, our king's got amazing. So far, nobody has betrayed us. That's great. It's great news. So, uh, Bramsford has been besieged, which is my cousin's. Yeah, also people have been telling me, like, should this be our uncle? I feel like it should be our uncle, not our cousin. Right? Because our father's brother... But then again, they're also counted as our siblings. No, that's Aegon's siblings, right. So, they should be our uncles. I don't quite understand why they're called cousins, but, you know, there we are. Anyway, let's get back to King's Landing, and Tywin Serret uh, is against us as well, Sir Mathos. He's, uh, actually, I'm not too sure about this guy. Ormond Serret was amazing. Mathos? I don't know. You know what? Take him to the cells. I don't believe him. Yep. He was uh, dragged away. I just don't. I just don't believe him. He was not just like the others. So we will uh, request an excommunication, which is not going to happen. We need another king's guard, but that's maybe not the most important thing right now. Now, yeah, colony is under siege by a force led by Jalana Rosby. If the defense were to capitulate and let the fledgling settlement be sacked, there's a chance a colony may fail and fall back into ruin. That would suck. That would suck big time. Um, yeah, Jody Oubliette, thank you, and bring me the greatest knights of all the realm, Jeremy Broom, we've got Durham Daomi, and we've got Giles Trace, uh, maybe this guy, Zealot, none of them should guard me, I don't, I, I don't trust them necessarily, 
What is that? Okay, we study more. Your studies of the celestial fields are progressing well. You see movements and relationships that you had never dared guess at. Uh, it seems clear to you now that the laws that guide the movements of the stars must also be reflected on Earth in some way. Okay. And there seems to be somewhat of a fight going on. Uh, the, the Baratheons fighting against a lot of people. Okay. We're quite overwhelmed, though. In terms of forces, maybe are you gonna help us? He's gonna arrive in old stones, but we are completely left alone here. It would be nice if you could actually stop the Starks, keep them north, because I kind of don't need them here. Bring me the Knights of Powerful Houses, Adrian Blackfire, an ugly man. Yeah, no, he's not that good. I think I'll go with someone else. And we don't have. What happened to Lord Rosby? Oh, he's leading men in old stones. Yeah, can you not do that? So weird that they get taken out of my armies to be put into some garrison. All right, anyway, I, I suppose we'll take Sir Jeremy Pr Broom. There you go. In the King's Guard, enjoy. Pretty decent fighter. I'll take him. And... Okay, you're finally leaving Sea God. That's perfect. I hope you will stay away. And same for the Starks. Okay, so we're gonna get attacked here in King's Landing. We've got only farmlands here, 15,000 against 20,000. We've got good commanders, but not amazing commanders. It's likely that we're gonna lose this. Well, maybe not. We'll have to see. No, we're winning this. Slightly. But we did. And Guy. No, that's actually Edwin Rigger. Supporting us and my husband's doing a really good job as well. Okay, very very nice. Yeah, we lost 2,000 but destroyed quite a few more and Alad Baraman is imprisoned Cool Yeah, now What's the most important thing? Right now we are losing because of occupations in in Bramsford that we might want to yeah retake and Dawn has inherited some things. Okay, that's fine. Let me see if I can tell Osmond to besiege these things. Yeah, okay. He, he does that. Perfect. Let's retake these lands. You have just usurped. Oh, usurped this from this guy. Interesting. And Stonehenge has been given away. Why? You'd rather have Raven Tree Hall? So interesting. And the High Lodge of the Blackwood. Who? What? So, Southstone is given to Arlen Lichester. Goodbrook is now in the hands of the Tullys. Stonehenge is, for some reason, a Republic mayor city thing. And the Bracken Bittersteel branch is now. Ruling from the Blackwood Vale, from Raven to Hall. That's so weird. So weird. Anyway, let's continue retaking these lands just so we get some more war score. Very nice. I do want to confront these 9,000 men if possible. It seems like someone has just been defeated, which is really, really good by the Vale forces. Um, I wonder if they can win this. Maybe we should actually see if we can help them out. Seems like they're going to win on their own. Okay, good. In that case, we can turn around and face these 14,000 men. More people are dying. I can't even keep track of all the death. Uh, 14,000 are coming. Okay. Depending on where they go, we should maybe try and destroy them. Okay, they're not stopping. That's interesting. They will just get cut down. We've got better commanders here. We should be able to win. Siege of Seven Rings has been lost. Wow, another 4,000 men is, are dead. We do need to <clears throat> save old stones. I don't want to lose that. So I'll go there. And you are sure you have made a breakthrough in your studies. Yet it cannot be otherwise. The earth is round and it, revol it revolves around the sun. How little we know of the universe. I must publish my findings. Uh, we become... Oh, we're going to trade Skola. Well known as the wise, the able to scholar, the priest hater. 
and everyone thinks we're heretic, we can continue our studies in secret. Um, or we'll stop this achievement. Now, I think we're diligent, we're hardworking, so we're definitely going to become a scholar. So we'll not stop this, that's for sure. Um, I think we are cynical, so we're definitely going to open this up. I feel like that makes sense. We're, we're going to publish it. Probably. And we're also trusting, so I don't think anyone's going to... We don't think anyone's going to hate us for this, necessarily. We're a bit naive in that regard. I think we'll publish it. Yep. So we're now known as the Able. That's cool. I, I actually like that nickname. Either way, we... Um... You know what? I'll tell you to siege Fair and Cross. So you're doing something important. And we'll have to go to Old Stones. Okay, we now got Mild Winter in King's Landing. And yeah, I know that Old Stones under siege. I'm sending a relief force, but probably too late. Yeah, we're too late. Damn it. Now, Crans of Cl Crackler Point will threaten the vassal to stay out of factions. That would be amazing. And he doesn't. Damn, we're going to be too late. Now, what a merry feast surrounded by our friends and loved ones. I feel a thirst coming on. Page more wine. We're going to get killed. We're going to get killed. Who is our cupbearer? Garth the Black. Mm. <sighs> Poison! My body is growing numb. Someone please help me. The crone. Wow. A cupbearer, Garth the Black, could be responsible. Or a massive whisperer, Maya Rivers. Hmm. Or someone else entirely. Who would hate me so? Yeah. Who would hate us so? Who who would indeed? Well, that brings us into an even worse position as Queen Daenerys because we're now two years old. Queen Raids has taken last breath at the age 21. She died under suspicious circumstances. Known as Raids the Able, may she find peace with the gods. Having no skills with which to keep the realm together, her rule may be doomed to fail. Long live Queen Daenerys. Yeah, long live the Queen. We have a new heir, Aemon of Bremsford. We have uh, Rob Rain as Hand of the King and Regent. My mother deserves a funeral. And just a black fire family. Yeah, there you go. But the war is not over. Okay, Old Son has fallen. I hope this doesn't have any more consequences. And we need a new advisor. I will pick uh, our grandfather, Eamon. He actually likes us. Surprisingly. That's cool. But I can't appoint him. We need a new mass of whisperers. Kala. Yeah, my kinswoman. You know what? Please. It's court physician. We only have one. And, uh. Hmm. Do you have any friends? No. You only have the Lord of Rosby. So you're going to probably revoke the title. Making him a bit upset. And stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to defeat the guys in Seaguard. Um, now we're going to have all of this again. Mm, we're going to have to end the war with the Malisters. So we can focus on the rest, I think. Uh, what's this now? Leon has kept in captivity for long enough. I imagine that he's set free, else you shall see my wrath. Okay, fine. Uh, I don't care for this guy. Might as well release him. Now, I want to destroy them, and then I might keep this occupied. Because we did not lose the colony. But we could, potentially. Uh, if we, you know, if we unseage it now and then get sieged again, that could be, a, you know, problematic. Okay, we destroyed quite a few men. And wow, there's actually a huge Westland host. Um, we have a 
new Grand Master apparently. Set the crown focus in King's Landing. Yep. And our advisor cannot be appointed. Oh, actually we can. Alright, there you go. That's nice. Weird that I couldn't do this beforehand, but now I can. Boris has used his attendance at the feast. Clarence... Mm, well... I feel like... Uh, I mean, we're not deciding this. This is our hand of the king deciding it. He's a just man. Probably wants recompense. There you go. Let's move on. And Damon Sunderland died. Still, still born. There's the funeral. Yeah, Queen raised Black Fire Dynasty in suspicious circumstances. She was a woman and was unyielding in her devotion to their vows. Rays wielded the famous Valyrian steel greatsword Black Fire, once a weapon of Aegon the Conqueror, a sword that we now wield. And of course, Leah has the Dark Sister. By the way, um, I'm not sure if this is possible, but for those of you interested, um. Into as to whether or not Rays was a bastard, I would um, I would tell you guys. I've checked the char info, and I'm just gonna. Say, I actually wanted to do this last episode, but I forgot to do that. Um, so I'm gonna do it now. Uh, there's gonna be nothing more to this episode. This will be this will be the end right now. But for those of you interested, I would uh, show you who is the real yeah who the real father of Queen Rays is. If you do not want to know, then please don't watch. This is a big spoiler alert, I usually don't do this, but in this case I think it's it's very important. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you the true father of Queen Rays. Um, it's possible that it doesn't work with dead characters. Um, it doesn't show right now, but let me, let me show you right here. Johanna, we know that her real father was Aegon. She has some... Uh, she has some father shown right now, but if you check out the char info here, it says, uh, you know, ID, health, fertility, and then real father King Aegon V. Now, I can't actually show this to you right now, because I think once you're dead, that doesn't work like that anymore. But, as I said, I checked it before, and we had no other real father. Queen Ways was actually uh, the daughter of Aegon the Kinslayer and Shera Seastar. There was no bastardy involved. She was a successful bastard. Um... The reason she doesn't look Westerosi is because her ethnicity is Westerosi Valyrian, but she is, like, there's no, I don't know why, because her husband, uh, her, her parents were both, um, High Valyrian. It doesn't really, I don't really know why, um, why her ethnicity changed, but, uh, yeah, maybe it's because, uh, look at this, Shera Seastar's ethnicity is Westerosi Valyrian, so... I think that's the reason, and she inherited that from her mother, and that's why she doesn't necessarily have the Valyrian features, and this is also why we, Daenerys, don't have Valyrian features. Um, but they can develop, potentially, it's hard to say, um, but I think the ethnicity goes by the mother. So, I know, I don't know why I ramble on this long, uh, Queen Rays was not a bastard, she was trueborn. Anyway, that was it for this episode, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.